Beginning in April 1958, a small five-year-old girl, Abigail Steiner, had a domestic accident that almost took her life. At first, it seemed that the worst had happened, but to everyone's surprise, Abigail started breathing again. From that day on, her parents claimed she was never the same. Abigail was playing with her toys on the second floor when she suddenly lost her balance. She and her toy tumbled down the stairs until they stopped in the living room. Poor Abigail suffered several blows against the steps and when she finally stopped on the floor, only a few minutes of agony remained. Her mother, who was in the kitchen and heard the noise, ran to the living room only to find her daughter convulsing and vomiting blood. The Steiners took Abigail to bed and called the family doctor, but it all seemed futile. Abigail passed away shortly after being put to bed. The doctor arrived 30 minutes later just to confirm the death. The parents stayed in the room with their daughter for another hour. The paramedics waited in the living room to be able to enter and take Abigail's body, but just as they got up to go upstairs, Mrs. Steiner started screaming from the room. The paramedics went up as fast as they could and entered. The parents were crying and hugging. The girl in bed had opened her eyes and was looking at them in an incredible way. Abigail had come back to life. After some medical exams, Abigail was diagnosed with some fractures and injuries. She also broke her mouth and some teeth. Her head suffered severe contusions and this was the most delicate part. But besides that, the girl was out of danger. After a week of observation, she was discharged and returned home more alive than ever. For the Steiners, the surprising way they got their daughter back filled them with a joy against which no other could compete. However, over the years, what initially was their greatest happiness turned into their worst nightmare. They swore they were convinced that their daughter was one person before and another after the accident. While Abigail during her first five years of life was one of the sweetest and most affectionate girls, Abigail from six years onwards was completely different, she was always grumpy and complained to her parents about everything. Her parents also noticed that she used a language that the girl had never known before and therefore could not be familiar with it. It was strange, but when she expressed herself it was as if another person was communicating through their daughter's body. Abigail also didn't remember much, sometimes she talked about things as if they were memories she had never lived. All of this scared her parents a lot who sought medical guidance to try to understand what was happening. The specialists told them that after the accident it was normal for the girl to lose certain memories but what the Steiners didn't understand was her radical change in personality and her new totally unknown vocabulary. The doctors tried to calm the parents reiterating that the accident may have left harsh consequences in Abigail. But there was something in the parents' instinct that told them that Abigail was not their daughter, that besides the physical, everything else corresponded to another person. And as Abigail grew up, this only got worse. The young woman never showed any affection for them, she seemed to have no bond. Sometimes, it even seemed like they were a nuisance in her life. In a moment of rage, Abigail yelled at her mother that she was not her daughter, that the real Abigail had died and that she, also dead for many decades, had taken possession of her body. Many might think that the young woman, in her moment of anger, said this just to hurt her mother. But something told Mrs. Steiner that that was the only time Abigail was really sincere. Something that only they, who lived with both Abigails, could be sure of. Abigail disappeared from home at 19. She left never to return, without saying goodbye or leaving farewell letters. The Steiners, on the other hand, felt relieved that this woman, who was not their daughter, had left their lives. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with those who like supernatural stories.